Now the truck driver who shunted a car along a busy freeway in a terrifying incident caught on camera. The driver of the car said she feared for her life, so we found the truckie to get his side of the story. I think he knows. How could you travel almost a kilometre without realising a, a car was stuck to your truck? Well, I've got a... I've got a truck motor they can push. What are you doing, mate? I'm just thinking, I've got to see my daughter. What the I've got to see my husband. I am not dying looking at the grill of a truck. It's not happening. He's the truckie at the centre of this heart-stopping ordeal. Didn't hear nothing. Didn't feel nothing. Tonight, the man behind the wheel of that semi-trailer, Steve O'Day from Millthorpe Transport. I had 22 tonnes of wool on. And you can't feel... When you hit something, you can't feel it. He's been driving big rigs for 40 years. I put my indicator on, checked my mirrors, checked my little window on my door. Nothing could see nothing. There was no indication. There was no indicator on his truck. You, you can't believe what you're seeing. You actually cannot believe what your eyes are seeing because surely that can't be real. Kelly, you must be the luckiest woman in Australia right now. Feel it. I really feel it. It began like a normal morning for nursing home worker Kelly Bubeck on her way to get coffee before her shift. As it came up on my right hand side and got near my door, I actually said out loud to myself, holy crap, you're close. Then, the unthinkable. And as I'm turning my stereo uh, slightly left, it just jumps and grabs and pulls to the right. And it was really quick. So it's gone boom, boom, boom. And I've looked up and I'm now having traffic going across the front of me along the freeway. And I've looked out my window and I'm stuck to the truck. The whole truck grill was just stuck. The truck driver's seemingly unaware of the grave danger lurking below. And the noise was just terrifying. And I'm now in survival mode. I'm literally travelling 100 k's down the freeway, sideways. By this stage, stunned witnesses are desperately trying to get the truckie's attention as quick-thinking traffic controller John switches on his emergency beacon. I was just uh, swearing, thinking, what the hell? I couldn't believe it. At one point, the truck gears down and Callie thinks it's all over. I had a moment where I went, he's going to stop. And then I heard the engine take off again louder and the grumble through that window was just roaring and then I started yelling, Oh my God, oh my God, he can't see me, he can't see me, he can't see me. What do you doing? Stop the car! Stop! Stop! What, what, what are you doing? You're going to kill the bloke, mate. Scared the shit out of me. Not nice. Callie, clearly weak on her feet, can't comprehend what just happened. I got out and I was just thinking, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm here, I'm OK. I got home and I was talking to my husband and my husband said, was he drug tested? And I said, no, like not that I remember. And I don't think they were there long enough for that to happen. I wasn't drug tested. He wasn't drug tested. You didn't do a drug test at the scene? Nah. When I stopped the car and opened the door and got out and I'm yelling at him, you'd nearly wipe me off. And he turned around and looked at me and he said, oh, for sake. What did you say to Callie at the scene? Not much. Why's that? Because I was probably in shock too. <laughs> she said that you swore at her. I did not. To show you just how big the blind spot is around a truck, I'm going to walk to where the car was stuck and soon you'll see me completely disappear. Well, I'm sorry it happened. Kelly's car was a write-off, but somehow she didn't suffer a single scratch. Maybe that's it. Maybe that was my lotto ticket. I'm still here. I'm still here with my family. I was literally fighting to come home. I got to come home last night and I got to cuddle my daughter and I got to cuddle my husband. That is a hell of a story. Victoria Police told us no offences were detected and no further action will be taken.